Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing our full face Sephora with our brand of the month. So yeah, um, I went shopping and picked out some Sephora items that we cannot wait to show you what we got. Continue watching. We're going to show you how all the products work. We actually have it on our face right now and we're going to let you know what we thought about each product. Then after that, we'll be announcing the winner Yay. of this month. So all right guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, so these are our faces right now. We're going to put on this beautiful Sephora brand Ooh. products. This is what we're probably going to be using the most because it has so many like different things in it. So on the end, we have the two highlighter shades, and then these two right here are for the brows. We have the blush, and, and then right here, this section is what we're going to be using for our eyeshadow. So our next product we're going to be using is the Sephora um, Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I get to spray Britney's I've face I've never used today. airbrush foundation. Well, I've been using this for like, you know, like the past month, obviously. At like work and stuff, like every day? Not every day because I wanted to make sure we definitely like had that yeah. for this. But yeah. like I used it a few times. I did try like spraying my face. And it, it's just honestly too difficult to do with your eyes closed. And you're like, where am I? Yeah, How much have I covered? True. So um, another technique is you can spray it on a beauty blender and just sponge oh. it on. And it really is like, I, I really like this. Good coverage. So, yeah. Oh, I'm and excited. then the other two things that I purchased were two lip products. There is this... um super nourishing lip balm with beeswax in it okay and the other lip product is this like lip cream like i'm not even like a super fan of this packaging there's like nothing here and i don't even think this has a name on it it just says made in italy i guess it's cool that it's made in italy that's cool okay guys so um i guess we're first gonna get our faces primed and put on our concealer yep and then we'll do foundation yes <laughs> nervous. Freddy, Freddy. So we are primed, moisturized, concealed. Yes. Now all that is left is an airbrush. <laughs> You're way too excited about this. First, what we need to do. But are you come to me. Doing? <laughs> we can't have your hair getting okay. stuff on it. Silly bud. All right, hold this right here. Okay. Hold this here. And now bring your elbows together just to protect your shirt if you can. That's fine. Oh, look at you. You look like Mother Mary. <laughs> okay, guys. So directions on the Airbrush Perfection Foundation is shake well for five seconds. And cover hair and clothes. Check. Kind of. <laughs> Close <laughs> eyes and hold 10 inches away from face. Lucky for you, I'm going to spray your face for you. <laughs> Blend with the brush afterwards. Do not spray for more than 10 seconds. Or you can spray directly onto a brush and buff it in, which is what I'm going to do because I've already sprayed it on my face this month and tried it. All right. One, two, three. Okay, I think that's good. Look at these wrinkles! Blend it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Brit is not recording again. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while she's fixing and blending that, make oh. sure you don't go over everywhere. Okay. So I forgot. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Well, there's not really much to show. I'm just going to spray my. So you can see that I put a little bit on there. I'm spraying right on here and putting it on my face directly that way. Good. <laughs> hey, Brie, so what did you think of the foundation? I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I think Real it has good quick. coverage. Um, if I had to pick a negative, guys, um, this, I've only used it three times before tonight. Then we both used it once, and I already feel like it feels like it's already halfway gone. So I feel like maybe like max 15 uses out of this, and it's $28. <clears> so, But I do feel like it goes on really well. It so. does. As far as how long it lasts throughout the day, um, I would say... It still looks really good, maybe like five hours into the day, but after an eight hour work shift, I do just kind of get like some Oily. like s separation and oils and stuff that I have to kind of like pat over it. Mm -hmm. 
But, um, yeah, I feel like between, since it doesn't last long and you don't get a lot of uses out of it, but it does look beautiful, I feel like I'd save it for a date night, like yeah. you were saying. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and go in with some finishing powder. This is NYX. So we're going <laughs> to go with that brown shade you guys saw, um, those under eyeshadows. We're going to use that as our brow shade. I wonder if the formula is different. What do you guys think? two different shades going on. Well, we have this, and then we have the Naked Brow. Let me see. Okay, guys, now we're just going to go in and contour with just the stuff we already have. We put on our contour and highlight, and now we're actually going to go in with this um, Enchanted Eyeshadow Palette again, and we're going to use the um, highlighters on the outside. We have one shade here that's more of like a shimmery white, and then the other shade on the left is like has a little bit of like a rose tint to it. Highlighter on on our cheekbones. This looks really good. Nope. So now we're gonna go in with this blush. What color would you say that is? Like a peachy pink? Yeah. Definitely. Your favorite. My <laughs> favorite. Ugh, that's okay. The only thing is with this blush is like we have like big blush brushes. Yeah. And like it's a very like small little diamond here that we have to go in oh, with this I have big a little brush. blush brush if you want to use it. Ooh, okay. That's Oh my gosh, see? It got brown on it. Oh no. So guys, I was using this big brush trying to get in that little small area and I freaking got like brown on my face. Yes. So we just finished our face. Face. Now we're going to do our eyes Yay. with the same palette. Okay guys, next I'm gonna go in with the brown and kind of like blend it on the outer corner of my eye and into the crease. We just finished up our eyeshadow palettes. Um, Brittany went for like the darker colors with the purple. I did like an icy blue and a brown. We are going to do a close up and show you guys what we came up with. Then um, we're going in with this um, super nourishing lip balm. Good, um, I need it. You don't need this. What I have to say about this is you put it on, it feels so buttery and smooth and you love it so much, but then you're like, why are my lips not getting moisturized? Why do they feel worse than before? Really? I did a little research on some chapstick and chapsticks can be more harmful than good if you don't get the right kind. If, okay, so I'm going to try to pronounce this word, but it's called humectants. Humectants? Uh -huh. um, anyways, if you find that as an ingredient in your lip balm, it's actually pulling the moisture out of your lips which then what? evaporates and leaves your lips drier. Really? So, yeah. and it's in a lot of um, tube type lip balms because it's like a waxy material yeah. that like keeps like the lips, like the lip balm in its shape. Usually if you get something like in like a little like bowl or something, it doesn't have it in it, but like they need the wax to form the actual like tube of lip oh my stuff, so. God. But anyway, for the sake of it, we will apply it underneath, okay. so. So you can feel how creamy it is. go with the lip color to finish off this look. I'm not a huge fan of the way this looks. You'll have to see when tell me what okay. you think. So here's our full face of makeup. Um, we just finished off our look with putting on the lip cream. And I kind of felt like the lip cream was very like the color is pretty, but it's like super drying effect. Like we do the not like this matte shade yeah. at all. Okay, so let's rate these products really quick here. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the airbrush foundation. Okay. 
Yeah, I would have rated it higher if there was like more um, product in the container if it lasted exactly. longer throughout the day. I thought it had good coverage, but it won't last long. <laughs> yeah, true. And then our Sephora Enchanted Palette. Two sevens. Um, very blendable, pretty colors, but the fallout, guys, was horrible. If you're going to use this product, make sure you do your eye makeup first and then apply yeah, your foundation. It's bad. Okay, the lip balm. The lip balm, we're giving a zero because that stuff dries out our lips. Like, why, why is it even so called lip balm? Bad. It's not moisturizing at no. all. So, zero, don't buy it. Yeah. And our last thing is our lip cream. I'm actually going to do a one on this one because I feel like it literally, like, it's not wearable unless yeah. maybe I get, like, a really good lip primer. Exactly. I like the color. Yeah, the, the shade is really pretty. Yeah. Bad formula. So that means our highest rated item was the Enchanted Palette by Sephora. Mm -hmm. So the winner of this month will be getting the Enchanted Palette. So the winner of this month's brand of the month is Crystal Little. Good job, Crystal. Way to go. Make sure that's her. Crystal, just make sure you send us a message on our Facebook Six Lipsticks to get your prize. Stay tuned for tomorrow because we are actually releasing our February brand of the month product and there will be a new giveaway so um, definitely watch that tomorrow. And if you like this video make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Alright guys so thanks for joining us for this month's brand of the month. Um, we really enjoyed trying out new products by Sephora and we can't wait to see what we pick out for tomorrow. Yes. Alright see you guys. See you guys.